Na, den Song kennt er doch definitiv. Natürlich, Heaven 17 und Temptation. Und mit Sicherheit wird es auch heute Abend auf der Bühne gespielt werden von Martin und von seinen Jungs. How do, how do you divide up your time between Heaven 17 and all the other projects? It must be a really difficult task. Oh, you know, when you get older, you'll realize you youngsters out there that um, you have to earn money. And so therefore you have to do multiple jobs and... Uh, And um, actually, it's very exciting to keep doing things that are intellectually and artistically stimulating, and not just keep doing, retreading the same old thing to us. Performing with Hem 17 is a joy and a, and yeah. a kind of holiday uh, from, from the more serious stuff. So I think our, enthusi our enthusiasm and our love of what we do yeah transmits itself to the audience and we seem to have a very loyal fan base. Yeah, I, I bet talking about the fans, it must be really difficult when you, when you guys make a new music. Is it hard thinking about balancing what people expect from Heaven 17 when you talk about the long term of fans? Maybe even you have the desire to do something completely different. Oh no, we, we just do what we want. We don't care. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's very, very simple. I mean, if they don't like it, that's fine too. We don't care. We, we're past the age, we're past the stage of our career where it matters, whether people like it or not, frankly. I mean, we, I think we've proved what we, what we can do. We believe it, we won't release anything that we don't think is good quality. Yeah. So whether they like it or not is, you know, I'd like them to like it, but it doesn't really matter. So what would you think tonight, the audience? Is that going to be like a, like a mix of, of long-term fans and maybe yeah. just people who just recently discovered Heaven 17, believe it or not, but well, there's still people out there? Well, there are, two, there are two, new, two ways that a younger audience gets into Heaven 17. One is through their parents. Yeah. Um, uh, but the other one, well, certainly in Britain, it's not such a big thing, I think, in Germany, but in Britain, the 80s is a massive, massive thing. So there are 80s clubs in every town, village, yeah. city, there are 80s bars, permanent uh, venues for 80s music, everywhere has at least an 80s night once a month, every pub. And so the people who go out clubbing aren't people of my age, they're people in the 20s, yeah. right? So that's, we get, I'd say, about 20% of our audience's new audience. And I think that's a really healthy thing. I mean, to be honest, 30 years on, people are still listening to our music. What's Absolutely. not to like? Absolutely. And you, people are paying yeah. us to play <laughs> our music 30 years after we made it. I'm thrilled. Yeah. Every time we go on stage, I can't believe it. And tonight, for the first time here in, in Dusseldorf, Dusseldorf, starting at 9 p.m., oh and it's sold God. out. We drove past Kling Klang Studios yeah, today. Yeah, Kraftwerk Studios. And, um, and I am honored to be in the town where that fantastic music was created. And we're honored you guys are here tonight. Thank you so much, 